with a weekly video. This is only the second one since I recommitted to posting every week and I'm already late. I guess it's hard getting back to a consistent schedule, but I am gonna get better at actually posting on Saturdays. We've also already got one change to my background since last week. I got some Eternals Pops uh, just this week, so I just added them to the shelf right now, uh, but that's the only change. Anyway, let's get to today's video. I am taking the trailer for Fantastic Bees the Secrets of Dumbledore and trying to put it in chronological order. So any of you who were like subscribed to my channel like way back like three years ago when I was pretty new might remember I did this with the uh, Crimes of Grindelwald trailers and I thought hey it would be fun to do that again with this movie and I bet there's gonna be another trailer dropping soon. I really hope that we get a second trailer for this movie. That would suck if we were just going off of that one that we got two months ago. But so I figured I better get this one out before everything is disproven by another trailer coming out. So so anyway, how this basically goes is I have split up the trailer. I took also the one, like the trailer announcement trailer that had a few clips, like it had like less than 30 seconds worth of clips. But I took all of the clips from Secrets of Dumbledore from that and the official trailer and split them all up and I tried to put them in order. So now I'm gonna make predictions basically by trying to create a narrative that explains what story is going on, what exactly is happening. As you can see, I've taken all of the clips and and, you know put them all in order so I'm gonna be referencing my laptop and just trying to explain what the heck is going on in the movie so to start off the movie we are back at Hogwarts and let's say it picks up where we left off there's this clip of old Dumbledore I bet that's not even <laughs> really in the movie at all but young Dumbledore is thinking and trying to figure out what the heck to do with this blood pact I mean he's got it is there a way to destroy it meanwhile in Nuremberg Castle Credence is there and he's trying to you know come to terms figure out what it means to be Aurelius Dumbledore. He's learning some magic with the help of Vinda Rosie. And apparently at some point Grindelwald gets mad at him and splashes him with a nice wave of water from this weird looking hot tub. Anyway, there's got to be a time jump at some point in this movie since it takes place in the 30s rather than 1927 like the previous movie. So let's say here we've got a time jump and what initiates the main events of the movie is that Dumbledore calls for help from Theseus and Newt. We're here to see Albus Dumbledore. That would be my brother. Oh my gosh, I am excited to see young Aberforth. I don't know why, but yeah. So they go to the Hogshead to talk to Dumbledore, meet up with him. Dumbledore shows them the blood pact and says that he has a plan and he thinks there might be a way he can destroy it. You have to trust me, even when every instinct tells you not to. So of course he asks Newt and Theseus to trust him and to go on this mission, the two of them. Well, he himself goes off somewhere else, I think. Berlin. Off to save the world, are we? So anyway, Newt and Theseus end up in this cave, ruins, underground looking place. It's got the, uh, it might be Chisperfuls, although that's unclear because those are supposed to be like almost microscopic and these are definitely full size. So probably just a creature similar to Chisperfuls that we haven't seen before. They're crab-like and there's this whole crab walking with the crab scene. Yeah. Swivel, but delicately. I'm swiveling, right? You're swiveling. So they make their way through these ruins and they run into a manticore. At least I think it's a manticore. I didn't see a head, but it has a scorpion stinger. You'd honestly think that maybe it's a blast and it's screw, but obviously those haven't been created yet because at this point Hagrid is a child and not even close to becoming a professor of care of magical creatures at Hogwarts or creating, you know famous blast ended scroots. Anyway, the manticore, whatever it is, is obviously angry at them for trespassing, so it chases them out of its little lair and they end up not really getting what they came for. Meanwhile, yes, Dumbledore goes to Berlin and finds Credence who uh, gets mad at him because obviously resentment towards his brother who ditched him. So we get this awesome Dumbledore versus Credence fight, but Dumbledore has to get out of there and regroup with Newt and Theseus. Anyway, after all that, they have to regroup, so Dumbledore invites Newt and Theseus to pick up Eulalie Hicks, 
Yusuf, comma, Jacob, and Bunty, and they take the train to meet him in Berlin. And of course, this is when one of the most mysterious scenes in the trailer happens, and Jacob gets a wand! Dumbledore asked that I give you something, Jacob. Are you kidding me right now? Who wouldn't like our chances? there's so many reasons why he could and why he shouldn't get a wand. I mean, if he really is a muggle, but maybe he's a squib, maybe he's magical, maybe he's just trying to blend in. But anyway, they get to Berlin and they meet up with Dumbledore. Oh yeah, and I forgot the whole reason why they're going to Berlin is that's where Dumbledore realized that now Grindelwald is hiding out and gathering followers. Obviously, he ran into Credence there, so unless he totally ditched Grindelwald, that has to be close to, you know. While they're there trying to figure out what Grindelwald's up to, they leave behind Yusuf, comma, who becomes a spy. Either that or maybe Grindelwald plays with his memories and he becomes a part of his team. That might actually be what this part's about. Anyway, they've gathered some intel and now Dumbledore has a real plan, so let's go back to Hogwarts! Jacob's feeling a bit peckish and has to have some food with the students real quick. Can I? Mm-mm. Very dangerous. It's very powerful. We've got in the wrong hands, you know. Mess you up. Where did you get it? Look out for Christmas. Okay, after dinner, Dumbledore explains the plan to them in the Great Hall. You can see it involves some sort of mountains. They are going to Tibet. Correct. Three points to Hufflepuff. While Dumbledore was explaining the plan to Newt, Theseus, Jacob, and Eulalie, Bunty was upstairs preparing in the Room of Requirement. You can see in the clip I'm going to show you in a second that she's set aside a case for each of them, and they're each going to have their own little magical creature case like Newt! What is this place? The room we require. And so they take this fancy magical traveling device to all go on their own separate little missions. You can see that Dumbledore takes Jacob with him, and then Newt goes on his own, I think Bunty also goes on her own, and then Theseus and Yululi are together on their trip. So Dumbledore goes wherever this is, let's call it London, I don't know. We get Dumbledore versus Credence part two. Meanwhile, Jacob, in the same city where Dumbledore went as well, he has a flashback to, you know, being with Queenie, and he wants that, so he's trying to track down Queenie, and he finds her at this banquet, or whatever it is. I'm sure he narrowly escapes. He's fine, he's fine, right? They would, they, he's good. Newt goes off on his own and travels to this bamboo forest. I think he's looking for a creature. <laughs> Well, he grabs whatever it is, some sort of baby, baby Thestral, but hairy, baby unicorn, I'm not sure. But he's chased away by something, so Pickett has to carry his wand for him. And then he gets a ride from a Snallygaster to the mountains where he's gonna meet up with everyone else. Oh yeah, and there's Bunty's solo mission to Berlin, don't know what she's doing there though. So then there's Theseus and Yuli, they're working together and they've got the help of some Diracals. They're the first ones to show up at this one city where they're meeting up. It is at nearby this temple that where Grindelwald and all his people are now gathering. So yeah, Yulili and Theseus are there, Dumbledore shows up, now Yusuf Kama's back, but is he good or is he bad? And yeah, so now Newt shows up there too at that temple. Now all of them are there, ready to try to take down Grindelwald, or actually not take him down, they just need him for some reason to be able to destroy this blood pact. I don't think we're gonna see Dumbledore versus Grindelwald until the last movie, and I think that they won't be able to destroy the blood pact right away, or maybe that they will and then Grindelwald will boot once he sees that <laughs> Dumbledore is able to attack him. But anyway, they can't show too much of the last fighting scenes and stuff, so and we just know at the end there's some big fight, something happens, uh, blah blah blah. Our war with the muckles begins today! And yeah, let's say Dumbledore is able to destroy the blood pact, but Grunwald boots it out of there. Anyway, at this point, I feel like uh, a lot of these predictions are probably really wrong. I feel like the trailer, this trailer, as it was like the first trailer for the movie, was really good at giving us random clips without even giving us much of a narrative at all. So I'm excited. I hope that there's another trailer soon. Let me know what your major predictions are about Secrets of Dumbledore at this point in time, and tell me in the comments what you thought of my predictions. Do you think I got the trailer in chronological orders? Tell me what I got wrong. That's probably, there's probably a lot in there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, which you can do by clicking down there. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos, like maybe a reaction to the next trailer. Also, check out more of my videos up top you've got my reaction when I first saw this trailer and then underneath that is a playlist of all of my Fantastic Beasts related videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!